Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to show you how to review homework that your students have submitted to you on Off the Class. So in the previous video, I showed you how to assign homework and that each of our lessons comes with an attached homework activity for your students to complete between class. So when your students submit that homework to you, if you've got the notifications enabled on your profile, you'll receive an email notification telling you that there's a homework there for you to review. So I'm going to click on student management, this yellow button here, and I can see all my students on off to class and I'm going to click on Jose and come down to his lesson history table. So here I can see all the lessons I've ever taught him on, um, on off to class. And in the homework column, when I hover my mouse over these symbols, I can see what the status is of the homework that's been assigned. So here I can see for this lesson, when things don't work, that the homework is completed. So I'm going to open it up by pressing here. And now we're in the homework classroom. So what we have is Jose's answers on the right and the answer key on the left. I can hide either of these elements by using the full screen buttons. And we're in a parallel view here. So we are comparing um, Jose's answers to the answer key. And anytime Jose's answers show up in orange, that means they're different to the answer key. Anytime Jose's answers show up in green, that means they're the same as the answer key. And so I'm going to go to the next page of the homework and show you that for free text answers, we don't auto correct um, the, the work. We provide you with the students answers and you can leave feedback and annotations on the students work. So your tools up in the right here, you've got a check mark and X mark. And you've also got this, um, this comment, this feedback notepad that you can drop on any question and directly provide a comment such as great work, something encouraging, something to personalize it. And I'll just show you one other use of the notepad. When I drop it on a, um, on a free text question that has quite a long answer. So in this case, the answer to this question, Jose wrote um, three sentences. So I'll drop the notepad. And when I use this input student answer button, that brings the student's answer into the notepad. And I can use these formatting tools to actually do sentence correction. Um, and show the student how I would have, have written the question or written the answer. Um, and you've also got a color selector. So you can do sentence correction by using this input student answer button. And when you press save, that comment will actually be all the sentence correction work that you've done. Now, if you want to leave a comment for the student that's not linked to any of the answers, you can drop this notepad on this space here and you can leave a general comment such as great work, keep it up, something encouraging, something to personalize the experience. And now I'm going to go ahead and close the classroom because I want to show you how these notations and feedback look from the student's perspective. So I'm going to now close this classroom, close the homework classroom. And the system asks me whether I want to mark this homework as reviewed or not reviewed. The main distinction here is that if you mark it as reviewed, we'll superimpose the answer key, so the green and orange, on top of the student's answers when they log in from their side. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this as reviewed. My student Jose will receive a notification, again, if I have it enabled, that your teacher has reviewed your homework assignment. And I'm going to come over to Jose's side of off to class so you can see what the homework, the reviewed homework looks like from his perspective. So I'm now logged in as my student, Jose. And down here, you've got his portfolio of completed homework, all the homework he's ever submitted to me. And I'm going to open up the assignment that we were just on and press review homework. And you can see because we marked the homework as reviewed, we've actually superimposed the answer key on top of the student's answers. 
And here is the general comment that we left for Jose that wasn't linked to any of the questions. Um, so it shows up as a sticky pad at the bottom of the assignment. And here are the annotations we left with the check mark and the X mark. And here are the two comments that we left on this free text answer. And you can see this comment, this is where I inputted the student answer to provide you an example with um, doing sentence correction on the review tools. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.